Hi everyone. I started this drawing a few weeks ago, and after doing the very initial sketch, I wasn't really satisfied with how it was looking, so I never picked it back up to finish. The shape of the lips didn't end up being how I had envisioned, and the idea of detailing the lips just felt daunting to me, so I abandoned this drawing altogether. I think this drawing presents a really important lesson the value of finishing what you start. There's something to learn from every artistic endeavor that you take on, and a simple drawing in a tiny sketchbook like this is no exception. At the start of a work of art, everyone feels the adrenaline and excitement of doing something that has the potential to be amazing. But in the initial stages, things usually don't look very moving. You can only reap the benefits of a beautiful artwork when you get past the initial ugly stages that it undergoes. Getting over the hill is difficult for an artist sometimes. It's really easy to feel discouraged, and it happens to me more often than not, but it's really valuable to take your work to fruition no matter what it is. You can probably get away with saying that a work of art is never really finished, just abandoned when you no longer feel like working on it. When an artist's intentions come to, it's fine to stop and deem a work of art done. There's a lot of value that comes from intentionally unfinished artwork. That being said, it's important to give a piece the effort and attention it deserves before calling it quits. When you feel like something went wrong, it's hard to bring back the feeling of progress that we felt at the beginning of the work. Or with a more successful work for that matter, it's the same. Everyone knows that drawing, painting, and every other art form takes a lot of time. The idea of taking even more time to fix a mistake that you made or erase away your progress is really deterring. It's like when Microsoft Word crashes without you saving the file you were writing. It's really discouraging, but you really have to push yourself to recover and finish in order to reach something you can be proud of. If a drawing isn't turning out how you expected, all that means is that you haven't spent enough time on it. No masterpiece was made in a minute. So realize that you're going to have to really commit time to your work in order for it to improve. Either you didn't think the original concept out well enough, or you haven't spent the time properly to render it. Patience is a virtue here, and when you practice it, you'll start to realize how much more you can achieve. You don't stop riding the bike because you fell off. You pick it back up, wipe off your knees, and get back on. Don't feel discouraged. Give your art the time and attention it deserves, and I promise it'll get better. In 2016, the Met Brewer in Manhattan had a temporary exhibition of unfinished artworks called Thoughts Left Visible. The beauty of abruptly stopped works in progress was highlighted in this showcase. Unfinished paintings from famous artists like Cezanne, Jan van Eyck, Manet, and Rubens show the creative process of these artists and that their idea of finished is not always what you'd expect. It's customary for an artist to sign and date an artwork when it's considered done. And the fact that some of these artists did this in the state of half-completeness that their works were in says a lot. This exhibition brings to light the different situations in which work on a masterpiece is stopped, which is not always voluntary. All things aside, it's clear that these quote-unquote unfinished works were given much time and deliberation. The effort here is clear, and that's why despite the fact that they don't fit the stereotype of finished artwork, they're captivating. You learn by working through your struggles, so hopefully one day we can all reach the ability to intentionally leave a work unfinished like the celebrated artists, 
and have it feel complete. Oh